With the holidays coming up, uh, we here at The Late Show uh, are happy to say we have an early present just for you. It's a brand new animated Christmas classic made specifically for this year's holiday season. It's called Once Upon Impeachment, <laughs> Do Enjoy. <laughs> Oh, well, Susie, as long as you've been a good little girl this year, you can expect those two million TikTok hearts under the tree Christmas morning. Whatever the holly that means. North Pole, Santa speaking. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, Timmy, unfortunately, even Santa can't reverse the effects of global warming. But Okay, Boomer. You listen here, Timmy. I'm 800 years old. I oh, hold on. Merry Christmas. This is Santa. Hello, Crooked Gringo. Oh. Hello, Mr. President. How's Christmas going? On schedule, I trust? Well, we didn't know there was going to be such a high demand for Baby Yodas or nutmeg-flavored vape pens. It's really taking a toll on our Rudolph power supply. Sam, vaping kills! I'm stressed. We could really use that plutonium that Congress approved for Rudolph's nose. Uh-huh, it's coming. Wonderful. When can we expect- I would like you to do me a favor, though. Uh-oh. Breaking news. On the 42nd day of impeachment, my true love gave to me a second whistleblower. I was in Santa's office when the phone call took place, and what I heard shook me to my candy-coated core. Listen. I would like you to do me a favor, though. Uh-oh. I need you to send me the naughty and nice lists. And why do you need that? I need dirt on Joe Biden. After this bombshell revelation, lawmakers are now demanding a naughty full release of the list, the, the naughty list. Help me, Anderson. I'm calling on Santa Claus to testify before Congress on Christmas Eve. Who is this Santa Claus to tell us what's naughty, what's nice? I mean, who among us hasn't, for the sake of argument, helped a good friend bury a body? Maybe Santa wants to protect the naughty list so bad because he's on it. Have you thought about that, Wolf? Santa's broken into millions of houses. Watergate was one hotel. Those full of love of lousy so now we gotta give those mother jinglers the list? Oh, oh, no, Gumdrop. The eternal spirit of niceness gave us that list to protect at all costs. It's one of the top three Christmas commandments. Thou shalt keep Black Friday sacred and give 20 to 40% off all merchandise. Thou shalt stand under the mistletoe and give your sweetie a big sloppy wet one. Thou shalt protect the list. Well, then what do we do, Santa? We just keep doing our job and trust that Congress will do theirs. Oh, f Rudy, a rat nose lawyer, came to get the naughty list. Rudy, how did you get here so fast? Beats me, I butt dialed an Uber and blacked out. Now by the power vested in me, hand over that list. Or what? Or Frosty gets put on ice. Don't give a damn, Santa. No, Frosty. You're gonna rip off your jet jets no, and roast them. Okay, Rudy. You'll get the list. Belly is bowl of jelly. Welcome, Santa. Here it is, Rudy. Be sure to check it twice. Sure, whatever. See ya! <laughs> that sugar plum sucking bastard is gonna use the naughty and nice list for naughtiness. Not tonight, Gumdrop. Santa Claus is coming to town. Welcome back to our Christmas Eve impeachment coverage. Still no sign of jolly old St. Nick. This despite the milk and cookies set at his testimony table with care. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, but if Santa won't be joining us tonight, I have some entries I'd like to submit from the naughty and nice list. Come, Dasher! How's that entrance, Gumdrop? Santa Claus is coming in hot. Going as fast as we can, Santa. This thing's a little heavy. Who should be on the naughty list but Joe Biden? Steady, steady. Just like when you got Bin Laden, Kringle. <laughs> and so, I think we can all agree this proved once and for all, there was no quid pro ho ho ho! Santa! Order. Mr. Chair, that's my list. 
foolish you have been, Rudy. Now, just hold on a minute, Mr. Kringle. That's Lieutenant Colonel Kringle. Order, order. Would the rosy-cheeked gentleman from the North Pole please submit for the record President Trump's actual entry from the naughty list? Respectfully, Mr. Chairman, what's, what's the, the point? point? I mean, do you really think it will help? Well, he told you every naughty thing he ever did, and you still elected him president. Yeah, he said he was going to grab women by the... the pussy. Yes, very naughty. And that's why I'm here today, right? On Christmas Eve, to tell you who's been naughty? Well, I won't. Because the more we talk about naughtiness, the more it can seem like the only thing left that exists. And so, Mr. Chairman, I would like to submit something for the record. The following entries from the nice list. Ah, Lindsey Graham, November 1961. Little Lindsay sat next to a boy at lunch who also had no friends. Remember how that felt, Lindsay? Yes. It felt good. Feeling good feels good. I want to live, Clarence. And here's one from Rudy Giuliani. Oh, Rudy, our red-nosed lawyer. In September 2001, Rudy was an inspiration to an entire nation. Remember that, Rudy? Th someone remembered I used to be nice? It's a Christmas miracle! God bless us, everyone! And finally, Donald Trump. I got nothing. <laughs> but Mr. President, there's still time. Why, you've got a whole year left to resign. Uh, initiate drone strike on Santa Claus. Authorization code one, two, three. <laughs> Global warming's real, you science scrooge! And so, ask not who's been naughty to you, ask who you can be nice to! Oh, 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 oh.